back. Game two of Schoolcraft College versus University of California Riverside, part of the AVGL Collegiate League. I am Victor, and I am casting with the foo. <laughs> I think you were gonna say it for me, man. I don't know. I felt like that was a pretty forward, <laughs> pretty pretty leading uh, introduction there. Yeah, I feel like if there's ever a sentence to finish, that could have been it. But uh, <laughs> I guess that's why we have to cast together more to build that mm -hmm. chemistry. Um, but I'm excited for this match, especially after yeah. watching that that comeback. These are two very even teams. Yep. Um, yeah. 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 So, it's and on the, um, so, train. Train is the next. Am I wrong? That was on cash, buddy. Oh, sorry. Oh, yep, it's cash. <laughs> I always mess that up somehow. It's like how do you mess up train and cash? They're like <laughs> <laughs> no, I mess up the page to read. So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> um, what do you think needs to happen on cash for for Schoolcraft to pull through this time? <laughs> I mean, they have. <laughs> Strong individual talent, obviously, uh, from what we saw last game. Dolan, the king, definitely their uh, best fragger on the team. Files and Starner, actually, uh, also pulling in really close, able to keep the team up uh, with their frags. They have really good um, positioning sometimes when they try to lurk. And that's going to come down to how they play their positions, right? Um like you said during game one, Victor, they are they have the ability to land the frags, but they just get into awkward situations where one, they're either not in cover, so they're just literally out in the open for anyone to pick them off, or two, they're just stuck doing um, their own things, kind of just like self baiting themselves onto a bomb site and then getting killed for no reason. And you definitely just don't want to be wasting bodies there. Uh, and not have anything come out of it. So for Schoolcraft, they really need to work on their positioning and to make sure that they stick together as a team when pushing bomb sites on T side. C D side, they could just uh, hold really good lurk corners in their um, defense. Yeah, yep. And I, uh, Stark, um, sorry, Schoolcraft will be starting on on terrorist side. Um, which was their stronger side last last yeah. game. Interesting enough, we'll see if they're ever doing a, a double op play. But um, I think I think double op on on cash on either team is more effective than Inferno mm -hmm. um, to have that double op. You know, they can boost, uh, get that pick um, to checkers B. So they, they they have some options with those op. I'm sure that's what Files will be itching for to get yep. that in his hands. Um, and we'll see. Of course, how, how Dolan can back him up and how they play this. But I think um, Cash can play a bit more into their favor in that sense, mm -hmm. on Schoolcraft's favor. And um, all they need is just a tiny bit more, and they, they will have won that last match. So um, I'm going to root for, I think, Schoolcraft can can uh, pull this one off. <laughs> we'll see if there's a game three. Right. What do you think? Um, I mean, I just want to get this game started because honestly, these two teams are really, really close. Yeah. Uh, you saw obviously we all saw fourteen fourteen scoreline last game. Like it could have been anyone's game at that point. So unfortunately, it just went into the favor of Riverside last game, and because Schoolcraft lost that fourteen fourteen round, uh, they were forced to save against a team that can just have full rifles. So even going into the fifteenth round, they kind of just like kind of fell apart at there because yeah. they just didn't have the rifles, the firepower, or the utility in their nades to uh, fully execute. So yeah. we'll just have to see what happens in game two. In All right, let's let's get into. Oh, before we get into it, one quick thing I mentioned: use the code uh, AVGL for BountyArena.com. Use AVG, and you get. So I'll see you on there. Definitely use AVG for two free. Two, you get two bucks for typing in three letters. So um, let's get into it. Map two, DE Cash. All right. 
Yeah, and here we go. UC California, <laughs> University of California, Riverside versus Schoolcraft College. Game two on cash. And we do see that uh, Schoolcraft is going to be starting T side here, taking the bomb towards B main already. Four members of the T are pushing onto this B side. We already see a fake, good fake smoke actually coming in from starter, distracting a lot of the TPs away from that B side. Unfortunately, he's going to get taken out by Laurel. And highway, and here comes the full execute from the rest of the T's. Good headshot onto Ra by Raphael, onto the guy Hi er, hiding in a headshot corner there. And that was a great fake, actually, coming in from Schoolcraft. It would get the bomb plant down, so that's one half of the mission done. Raphael gets a good headshot onto Justin there. D Hope hiding here in tree room, able to take out Raphael. Bob has some play. M Solar gets a good kill on Complex, and that's going to leave D Hope as the last CT member left alive. Gets a good headshot on the files. If he's able to one tap everyone, I mean, he can get this bomb diffuser right now. But good, M Solar gets a good couple shots onto him as he pushes it onto headshot corner. And Dolan should be able to finish out the kill. I mean, time's already out. And there's the kill. So Schoolcraft taking the early victory and winning the pistol round. Yeah, really smart play by them. Exactly where we were talking about last game, where they would, uh... Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, where we were talking about, they do that, the fake, and they execute it very well. But, um, you know, two of them would go for the fake, and that's just unnecessary. So, um... Yeah, sorry, the net graph is on. But that way, we know the server's perfect, right? <laughs> yeah, but Starter once again gets boosted up onto Garage and mid, able to quickly take out two CT members who tried to push through mid into Garage. But here comes Godlight, able to take out Files, who stayed behind waiting for the Lurk. But Bomb is just going to be rushing towards that A-Bomb side, not even caring that there are going to be CTs tailing them from Highway. We do see Dolan, the King, hiding himself in smoke. Good flashbang onto the guy in white box, gets the kill onto God. Like, this should be once again a quick and easy round for the T's as Absol should, and he will get the kill onto D Hope there. Whoo! Yep. Riverside. Sm another smart play coming in from Schoolcraft. Um, playing, expecting that rush. They heard it coming and uh, they were boosted up, waiting for it. And then they spotted out the two coming from B. So, mm -hmm. pretty straightforward. Uh, Anti eco. Gotta start snap. Oh! Pretty, pretty tricky play coming in from Hope, stabbing his teammate in the back. Um, that's a that's a good luck stab, by the way. <laughs> is that what that is? Is that what they call him now? I don't know what they call Probably him. Probably best. <laughs> it's like a, a slap on the ass by Edward yeah, Sister's but, hands, I guess. Yeah, but it's not <laughs> only luck out there, but your life away too. <laughs> yeah, just bleed out. <laughs> Uh, but they're they're doing a full on save. They really want those rifles next round. Mm -hmm. um, so they're exaggerating it by hurting each other and uh, you know hol holding tight angles. So hoping hoping to get some uh, ch cheeky frags here. Cheeky <laughs> frags, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good way to put it. Good way to put it. Yeah, bold, bold move. Let's see how it plays off. Gain plays mm -hmm. out. Gain. I don't know. Old dodgeball. Ooh, Starter almost able to take out the guy who was transitioning from uh, mid there into Z. Bomb is going to be rotating over towards middle A area, I believe. Because uh, Starter does have total mid control at the moment. Laurel down to one health because he tried to push out from mid. Uh, he's going to be holding this A bomb site here. And Justin, he is up in A heaven. He will be able to take out Raphael before getting taken out by Absolutely there. Good flat. Oh, wow. Holy. <laughs> Quick and easy headshot onto D Hope, who's hiding in truck. Bomb's going to get planted down. And I mean, Complex and Garlic like, definitely have a big cast ahead of them. They want to get the fuse, but Final Star taking out Garlic like, and Absolutely finishing Complex off. Absolutely a little danced after that. Glad they secured the round. And I like that shot on the, on the truck. The C's on uh, tip of his head sticking out. It'll pop. So, um, after the save, they're going to have some guns here. You see Riverside, Riverside their first pretty full buyout. Mm -hmm. um, and we're seeing the one op play like we were talking about from Schoolcraft. We were curious. 
Ooh, Laurel getting a great pick onto Files who boosts himself up. Flat flash play actually got he got Dolan caught out there. So Garlic was able to take out that kill. Bringing down to a five versus three already, like a few seconds into the game. And it's not looked too good for Schoolcraft right now. Bomb is still dropping T spawn, so Bomb has not yet been spotted. We do see that starter also has the op in hand. He's trying to see where guys are on that A site. Got like spots out that so we're able to take him out. Quick and easy headshot that good fire coming out onto starter, but fortunately guy was not on quad instead he's hunting just a little bit over on fence and yes <laughs> schoolcraft definitely is going to have a hard time trying to uh, get onto the site now with this really solid positioning coming in from the cts one their full by round yeah and we're seeing the same strategy from schoolcraft here on t side um where they're spread out playing for picks um which it did work out for them last map, so no reason to switch it up. Uh, unfortunately, ooh, Raphael actually able to get the pick onto Complex there in B main, so that is at least one CT member that has been dealt with. Meanwhile, the rest, oh, they are just going to be running outside. D Hope able to get the kill on the starter. He is going to get the double kill actually, running into both of them there as they try to push into a main so schoolcraft once uh they got into the ct byra unable to pick up a lot of kills only able to take off one i'm surprised how broke they are right now but um very low on money mm -hmm. absolar with a few because uh just got that one death but yeah inter interesting round some some smart plays from Riverside, like that flash LB, just to peek out, grab one while they're blind. But uh, we did see Schoolcraft run out of time again. Yep, Godlike ooh, pushing out here, able to get some really good kills. Godlike pu pushing out pistol, get the headshot down. My starter gets a great double kill onto both Godlike and Complex over at the B bomb site with the help of his ally. It's going to be starting in Epsilon, trying to hold off the aggression from the CTs who want to retake that boss. I see hope on, on checkers, able to just finish off the remaining terrorists. And that's going to be, once again, a quick round coming in between these two teams. They do, they do get that plant money they need. Uh, and yes, Darner with the only two frags that round, the two quick uh, Tech 9 kills, but... Um, Good team play overall. I mean, he did get those kills as his, they aim for his teammates. So, worked out well. Got the plant. And now they're going to have the money to get the AKs. And we'll see Files with his op again. Curious if he'll boost mid. So, um... See how Laurel challenges him mid. But, complex. They're going to be holding pretty far up in checkers. Taking map control with that smoke. Oh, oh my man, Dolan King hey. is smart. He had a smart molly onto the onto the checkers and yep. then uh, sprayed it down. So he heard him out there and played that really smart. Yeah, that was just a really intelligent play. <laughs> yeah. <the moment. laughs> That's just nothing, nothing more to say about it. It was just like... You would be jumping out and... And she lined the spray up. Yeah, so this advantage now going over to Schoolcraft. Uh, bomb is positioned here in B main. Flashbang did go out files with the op in hand. Just trying to check his corner, checking his hand right now. Will they know that there is still one CT member left on site? Bomb, he pulls up the bomb. Oh, no, they that's don't know. Yeah, and that's going to be Straight. bombed out. But Dolan got his partners back. Give him a trait to kill there. Missing the off shot from the CT in heaven. Yeah, L with the whiff. So that is going to be a little bit awkward. There, Dolan taking the kill out, and that's gonna drop it down to a two v two. Great nade there coming in from D Hope. It will take it, take out Files and Starter. I'm not sure if you can actually hear the diffuse from there. Ho ho ho! Good nade going down there, but. I mean, he's doing a good job delaying the CDs from defusing. 
Unfortunately, Lorel only has two oh, health. Oh, Starter oh. clutches it for Schoolcraft. How is anyone alive there? <laughs> Soda Pop giving a giving a shout out. <laughs> giving a shout out to that foo. Um. Yeah, that uh, that was quite the bomb hold there. I can't believe that Nade didn't kill him. You know that that Nate went right in checkers when he had no health and uh, mm -hmm. managed managed to pull through. The f real smart of him not to peek on that first fake, even though it was a two v one. He didn't get baited out. So we're seeing another half buy come in from Riverside, California team. Um, what a great frag! <laughs> by are the same Lurking. spread out. Yeah, spread yeah. out picks from Schoolcraft. Same thing. Um, mm -hmm. They love when Riverside pushes. You know, that's what Schoolcraft banks on every round is hoping the first minute that they will get pushed. Yep. So, see, I'm surprised we're not, you know, that like Files is over at B dying there when the only pick they have is that A. So now they have two A picks and uh, they're making making moves based on that. And taking a site uncontested. Yep, completely uncontested here. They are going to be getting the bomb plant though, but it is going to be three v three. Complex and got like both sporting the AWPs in hand. Starner getting a great pick onto Laurel, who's who's uh, rotating over from middle there. So that's going to make it even easier for the T's to hold down this bomb site. Um, uh, not sure if these two are actually going to go for it. It looks like they're just going to hold back so they know that there's only one terrorist member in quad because they did peak. But that's going to be it. The <laughs> Dolan spots out the guy in mid, but he's going to be falling back. Wow, what a great headshot. I think God, like, over in truck. The complex is going to trade out the kill, but still. Schoolcraft able to win the round and take out the majority of the TTs. Yeah, that was a worthwhile trade at the end there by Dolan, because um, it 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 pushes him not to have a gun next round that final kill. Um, whereas Dolan obviously is able to get the AK with the round win alongside it. So um, good play, Schoolcraft taking an early lead here. You know they they were shut down after the pistol round three win three round mm. win, but uh, and then. Got the bomb playing the eco and have brought back since then. Yeah, but here's a very sneaky counter boost on the safe and complex and good kill. Good early pick on the Dolan. God, like, having trouble there, but finally he's able to get over to another, get another get one. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was, um. Oh, but Laurel gets a nice quick peek once again onto Starner there. And that's. <laughs> that was just a little bit awkward. Complex getting good flank out the files there. Was uh kind of just peeking out into I think that's a main. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think they know that Absolver is still in T spot. Uh, he should be pushing out momentarily. Raphael is about to get flanked out by the CTs, and yes, he does. He gets taken out by Complex and oh, Absolver got that kill. Huh? Yeah, Eb Solar with the. With the classic AFK camp right now. <laughs> Real tricky play. I mean, it's working. They have no idea what's going on. Manages to be the last one alive on his team with this interesting strategy. <laughs> Very interesting strategy. Absolutely, we're going for the save now. I'm not sure what we'll see, if this will play out. Maybe again, e exit frags. Uh, he's holding that angle real patiently. Super really patient on that angle, uh, yeah. and we're about to see if it pays off for him. Uh, he's actually going to get flanked. I can see on the mini map. Oh my god, he couldn't even save. <laughs> oh, so man. that's solar. Uh, he was moving at the end. He was AFK that whole time. Am I crazy? He had to be <laughs> AFK, right? Yeah, I don't know. I was. Yeah, I, yeah, I, think, yeah, I think he was AFK, and that's the pause. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was just hopping around. Oh my god. But, uh, yeah, yeah, tricky. 
tricky strategy. So we'll we'll see that pause. That's a that's a tough way to get your mo momentum break in. Um, it was an eco turned into a four v five eco by default, which uh, it sucks to lose on when you're when you just took three straight rounds and your you know your opponents broke. I'm sure they wish they had the six two, but they RT side now, so. Which what we've seen is their stronger side, so they're they're going to rack up as many rounds on the CT side map as they can, while they're on T side, so they can finish it off after the switch. And um, we'll see what. There we go. They're good to go. Um, Absolar fix whatever his issue was. Yeah, hopefully. But I mean, fortunately for them, Schoolcraft is completely broke right now. Three of the members are less than two K. Starner and Files are the only ones who have any sort of money, and Starner just buys a Tech 9, and that's about it. And to respond to chat, yeah, this is the AVGL Collegiate League. Um, These are all college players. Whoa, we do see Starner pushing out aggressively here, pushing through the smoke, able to ca catch out two CT members there. Complex only able to trade out one kill in that exchange for Laurel pushing in through vents there, and he's going to be the better of Dolan, but is he going to get Starner? No, he doesn't. Sarna will be able to take it on the hope in heaven there with the op. Great flick shot onto Eb Solar. That was a quick scope onto the terrorist who was holding that A site. Justin, meanwhile, able to take a Raphael in headshot corner. And that's going to be a quick round for UC Riverside. That was just uh, out fragged on the retake. But we do see Schoolcraft is getting um, B site when they need it. Uh, when they all go there, they're taking it. It's just a matter of holding it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is the AVGL Collegiate League. Uh, and it's eight weeks of CSGO that lead into... It's a regular season that leads into the playoffs with $5,000 in scholarship prize pool. There's also additional prizes by GX Gaming, such as mouse, headsets, things like that. Uh, and then EK Waterblocks. Uh, EKWB.com, they're liquid cooling for computers. They're giving a bunch of prizes uh, that people can install and you know boost their performance of their gaming rigs. And they're also giving prizes. We have a player of the week every week. Um, so yeah, time to transfer to UCR. You know, or you can visit avglcollege.org, and there's a filter there. You can filter by your school uh, on the members page and check if. There may be other players already, already at your school looking for teammates. So that's the best way to find them, just sign up on the site. Uh, yep. And, you know, tough first first kill. Dolan, one of their stronger players, falls early on in the round, and we're seeing the clock ticking. Yep, Stunner actually getting a great peek onto Godlike. And, I mean, Complexed knows that there is at least one team member in the main now. Unfortunately for him, uh, the bomb is or <laughs> that A bomb site, so it's going to be at least three terrorist members pushing out here. Once again, trying to uh, fire out the guy in quad. Meanwhile, Justin up in heaven, finally going to get the kill onto Raphael. There are uh, some time of spraying. Only 18 seconds here. Yeah, so that means they have to execute right now. Starter and Files are actually getting quick two kills. Starter. Starter getting a nice headshot onto Justin on site, but Laurel peeking in the corner. He hears the plant going down. And that's going to be time up. One versus one. 11 health onto Files. Can Laurel do it? He's going to run and hide, and that's going to do it for UCR. Oh, He's also going to get the kill onto no Files. No money for Files. We're looking at 150 bucks in the bank for Files right now. They're offer. Um, that's not That's not where you want to be. When you're saving for an op, 150 bucks. So, I mean, lost to the clock again. Uh, we've seen that several times by Schoolcraft. Even if they haven't directly lost to it, they've lost to it secondary by the pressure they've had to put on themselves executing so late in the round. Um, Swag, we are not sure of these MM ranks, but we can, we can say most likely there's a, a wide range. Yep, but here's Justin able to get the kill onto Raphael before he gets taken out by Solar. Once again, it's just going to be a quick A take coming in from the Terrace. Morel in the highway able to take out Files. 
who was just trying to cruise around on that A-bomb site. And this absolute tries to peek out highway. He will get taken out once again by Laurel. Starter with the AWP in hand, hiding in squeaky. He wants Laurel to peek. But Laurel is just holding steady right now. Misses the shot onto Gala, who crosses over his field of vision. Meanwhile, Dolan, the king, in, in sight, able to get the kill. And Complex brings it down to a 1 versus oh! 1. And now he clutches it! The 1v2 clutch. So I think there were a few extra peaks early on in that bomb site from the terrorist side. Uh, but overall, I mean, they, they played that well. He was patient and squeaky, but... Outplayed by Complex, you know, peeked to the left, wrapped around, uh, didn't push straight to the bomb. He knew he was in squeaky and was willing to, to check out. So, um, yeah, Swag, so the the ranges here, there, there's some players in the league who are global, and I guarantee it goes all the way down to silver because some of these people need a fifth player. You know what I mean? So they're going to pick up whoever they can get so they can actually play in the league. Uh, which is why it's kind of cool you see that that range. Um. <laughs> yep. Don't link in a quick kill on some morale in mid. Meanwhile, hope. Oh, oh well, there's a gap in the smoke. Yeah, that's a little bit awkward there, but Dolan's at, able to, to exchange up the frag there. Bob has been dropped, and D Hope pushing out through smoke. Not a very wise choice. He's going to get picked off there. And that's just going to leave high on Justin as a soul. CT member left alive in a one versus four. And they're going to bring back E, e, which they know they have secure right now. Um, and we'll see. He's not necessarily saving now because he doesn't know where they are. He just knows bomb was an A. And yeah. he's about to find out it's B. So, <laughs> I mean, in, in a one versus four situation, what can you really do, right? Either you save. Or you turn on your aims and, you know, win the round for your team. Like, which one would you choose? Um, I mean, I'd get the 1v4. I'd win it. So, of course, I'd go for it. <laughs> of, course. of course you would do that. Victor. Yeah, I'm going to just shoot them all in the head. I don't see why you wouldn't just go do that. <laughs> I don't know why he's hiding in a corner. No, but he is going to be saving this round. That would bring it to a 6 6 scoreline. So, once again, very close game between these two teams. And on a map like Cash, I mean, I'd say it's a very even map, really. So, it's just going to be all up the scales and tactics for these two teams to see who can edge out the win in the end. Yeah, so another, another close match. We're seeing that back and forth, like you said. Uh, and this money gang all over the place, though. Um,. But we are going to see full buyouts from both teams this round. No no ops on either team, which mm -hmm. is interesting. So we'll see some... That will affect the mid play a lot. And CT player Sandbags right now gets picked yep. off by Dolan. Oh, gee, Dolan. Once again, great crosshair places from Dolan. Able to just quickly just get that headshot. Secure map placement for his teammate. Unfortunately, he... Justin holding down the highway like a boss, taking out both files and Dolan to King. So he has mid pretty much on lockdown there for his team. Not Unfortunately, anymore, huh? as I said that, yeah, <laughs> uh, as he tried to push out there in mid, bringing to a three versus three. Bomb is going to be pushing out from a main, and fortunately, oh. Never mind, D Hulk in fence. They will take out two GT members before going down. That's gonna wow. be complex. Getting shot the round. Hope Hope winning that round for his team. I mean, they were gonna have a pretty secure site. They had some utility left to to help them hold off the retake. So Hope tucked in that corner patiently and manages to to take down two of them. Smart play, so brings it to seven six in favor of the California School, University of California, Riverside versus Schoolcraft College, which is out in Michigan. So, it's a community college out there. Well, great pushes here and great defense coming in from both Complex and got like able to win out that trade in the end. Starner, I mean, he only has a P250 in hand. He's gonna get the bomb plant done, but Gali able to get the Ooh. kill on both Raphael and F Solar. That's just gonna leave starting with the P250. He's 
pushing from B main. Kind of out of position here, but um, yeah, they already started the bottom. <laughs> this point you can you might as well just wow how's he how's he get that frag there 4v1 <laughs> they all know where he is and he just rushes in with the p250 and takes one so oh it's classic case of uh oh my teammates got it you know i don't i don't even have to look over there there's four of us it's that mentality that they're all set um and that's gonna bring it to eight six last round of the half and seemed pretty pretty even scoreline from California team again just like last game evenly skilled players all very good um, playing yep. in their positions well yeah so there, there's the double op from yep and there goes Dolan once again getting a quick frag onto the guy in sandbags see if they take advantage of this mid control they have right now because uh we will see that absolute does Check his corners, they're able to take out D Hope. He pushed out of a main corner there. Just able to finish out the kill on the Absolar. And he's gonna have a hard time defending this bomb site from the incoming terrorist members. He'll take out two very low before a grenade finishes him off. Able to take out Dolan King. Team, that's a team grenade there. Exactly. Bad, oh, wait. bad bounce by Fios. Yeah, so that's gonna be a little bit awkward. We want Complex gets a great headshot onto Fios. Over in Fort Lib, that's gonna leave Rafael the River in a one versus two situation. Bomb is currently dropped in favor for the CTs. Flashback comes out. The Rafael, oh, great flashback hitting complex just at the right time. But he still has plenty of time left. Gone like actually going the going for the backstab here, going for the flank. Rafael, he does not want to plant yet. Commit to it. No. Is he uh, gonna get the kill? No, he isn't. And that's gonna be gone like there. Clutching it for his team, so that's going to be a uh, non-six in the half. Yeah, so that I mean, that's what was that seven straight rounds? Let's see. No, no, it was split. It was uh, s almost seven straight rounds, but um, Schoolcraft snagged one in the middle. Um, so tough, tough after a um, a five-two start from Schoolcraft to finish six-nine on that half, especially when, as we've seen, they really like that T side. Uh, playing for the pick and um, I'm interested to see on this map if anything their their passive CT side could work out better you know mm -hmm. playing deep in the A site putting the op in Fio's hands yeah. and get you know um, giving him some mid control and yeah I I don't know what do you think Where where's Dolan gonna play where's he gonna stack up I mean, Dolan is a really great fragger, so having him, I believe having him anchoring a site would be best uh, for Schoolcraft, honestly. If you have Dolan even like in a five versus one situation, he can take out probably two members um, of the terrorist people who are pushing on the site, maybe even three, if he can get his spray control down right. So if you can have him play somewhere like uh, in forklift on A, if it doesn't get smoked out, then that's a really good spot to actually stop the terrorists and get a lot of frags who are pushing onto the A-bomb site. Um, but like you said, I also want to see some big popping clutches coming in from uh, Files and Raphael, who has been kind of just been switching off opping. And that would be really nice to see happen um, as they defend bomb sites. Counter boosting? obviously could be really effective here depending if UCR are the type of team to go for boost in mid so that's something to keep in mind I know that um, UCR did a couple counter boosts but I mean for them it didn't have the greatest effect in the round when they did it so that is going to be something that they need to keep in mind of but yeah, Schoolcraft I mean, definitely needs to win the pistol round though if they want to it up. Yeah, this is actually the same exact situation they were exactly. in. Exactly. Uh, reverse teams. Reverse exactly. teams that. Uh, uh, yeah, Laurel was really comfortable mid. Um, when he had an op, when he didn't, Dolan was able to out aim him um, on the aggressive plays. But um, they were real smart on the rotates when Justin was highway, would mm -hmm. come down and be able to uh, flash out and peek, peek mid. Yep. So. Some smart defensive plays from them once they got it, you know, things in order. 
to, to take the lead in the half. So they are prepping right now. Um, eight eight of the ten players ready. Yeah, so we're just waiting for these players to get ready before we start up the second half between University of California Riverside versus Schoolcraft College in Michigan. Uh, Victor, well, how come uh, it's a Michigan school versus a uh, California school? Are there regions in this? Are there re like a northeast region or like a south region and the west coast region? Not not in Counter Strike, but in the AVGL Collegiate League, uh, some of the games we do do regions. For instance, Smite uh, is by region, and that's just to help players find the teams. Um, we did let several teams group up if they were from nearby schools. Uh, that's how we did it. So, for instance, you know, if you're at UC Riverside and there happens to be a community college the next town over with only one player and you have four players at UC Riverside, we would allow that that college down the road to team up so that mm -hmm. one player can participate. So all five can participate. Um, you know, we just keep an eye out that no one takes advantage of that system and makes like, we don't mm -hmm. want some super team from... For Florida, one person from each school, you know, five players, yeah. five different schools, and they all just waited to make sure they were all global. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so we don't do by region, but do allow states. Okay. But here we go. Getting into the second half of the round. Hi, I'm Justin. Already gets a quick headshot, followed by Complex. Onto the couple members of the CTs who are holding the A site. That's going to be bombed down already for UC Riverside here. Complex getting great straight out onto files. And he's going to push the guy in. Truck who has pretty much no health left. And that's going to be Starner going down. And I mean, <laughs> not even a single terrorist member that there died from uh, by Schoolcraft. So that's not what Schoolcraft needed. That's uh, that's actually the complete opposite. opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, they definitely wanted that to win that pistol round. And unfortunately, like as a CT, you have a USPS. And that thing, if you spray with it, sure, sometimes you might get lucky, get a couple of headshots, but mostly it's going to be tap control. Unlike the Glock where you can just spray and get headshots and it's like no one's business. But here they come, mid to B rush actually. D hope they're taking down to two health, but managing to live and take out Dolan King. Great smoke onto Tree Room. And that's gonna allow UCR to get the bomb plant down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Meanwhile, Lorel's gonna be watching vents here. He's gonna get one, he's gonna get two. <laughs> they just funnel right into vents to push onto that B site. But Justin <laughs> pushing out against files. As uh, he does not care about who's on the other side. Meanwhile, Solar will get spotted out by Laurel. Uh, and D Hilt's gonna take him out. So, once again, quick SMG round coming in from UC Cali. They're racking in the, that 200% cash um, with those SMGs. So, that's gonna really benefit them in two rounds from now. It's because they can afford to lose and still have money left over. Uh, staying alive, getting Mac 10 kills, where get, getting rich off them. Looks like they're going to stay aggressive with another mid push. Um, Schoolcraft also playing a set aggressive Starner peaking A main right now, but that aim punch is going to make his bullets five extra <laughs> high. And yeah, then they, uh, they run right up high. Surrounded. Yeah. Not much you can really do there when they come from all sorts of directions. But here comes Godlike pushing the guys at Trunk. He's gonna be able to take out one before he falls back with his teammate there, Complex, able to help him out. And that's gonna be Absolute going down. Meanwhile, last man left alive, Files from Highway, he's gonna get taken out as well. So obviously, this is what you expect from teams that win Pistol Round. Yep, and now. Uh... We'll see the first buy up from Schoolcraft on this CT round right now. Yeah, and I'm surprised that I'm. In, I don't think any one of the uh, Riverside players upgraded their guns at all. No, and they they know a buy's gonna be incoming here, so. Um. Obviously, but, have the money to. But. Hope already catching out Dolan. And meanwhile, complex. They will take out episode Justin and he kills the files. Schoolcraft's defense just falling apart here, just getting picked off one by one. I mean, 
They the, the terrorists haven't taken a single point of damage. They're all at 100 health. So, like, what is going on right now? The two remaining CT starter in Raphael. I mean, they're just going to be hiding here in Squeaky, waiting for people to push them, but that's going to be about it. <laughs> and because they were able to get those kills, I mean, Justin and Complex, they were able to pick out M4s for themselves. But here comes Raphael. <laughs> Complex getting taken out. Uh, taking out Raphael there, and that's. <laughs> Garner will get killed by D.O. And UCR is looking so dominating that round. Yeah, just confident take. You know, hey, we don't even have to upgrade. We'll just pick their guns up instead. That's how That's how they upgrade. And, uh... Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna force Schoolcraft back into a really heavy save. We'll see one Deagle coming in from Dolan, who, if any man should have a Deagle in this game right now, it'd be him. That's who I'd put whose hands I'd put in. Uh, and uh, a heavy rush made possibly booster. Nope, straight through. Just straight through, but Laurel's ready for that push. He takes out one, he gets two. He's waiting for the third guy. <laughs> but whoever's mid there, he's like, ah, I'm gonna pass. It's only two ten allies, they die. And Complex pushing on today, but obviously like, take out Raphael. Raphael's just looking at the well, absolute long direction there. Probably just trying to look at highway. Uh... But wow, complexity and great flick onto files there. And Schoolcraft, I mean, they're just falling apart right now. It's just. Uh, it's just kind of just like a bloodbath being seen right now. And that's going to leave Dolan the King in a 1v, 1v5 clutch situation. Can he do it? Can he turn on the aims? <laughs> Complex there. Checking around almost every corner. Finally, with spot out Dolan there. Taking him out, and that's not be sure if he's going for the ninja. He definitely <laughs> wasn't shooting back. <laughs> I think he was just had his head tucked in the corner, praying the guy didn't see him. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, those prayers were not answered by the gaving god. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, um, we look at the economy right now. Like UCR, they all have 10k. Like they are going to be fine for two, three rounds, even if they lose. And it's only up to Schoolcraft. Well, that's gonna be a great start. Files coming out Laurel. They are in Garage. So that's uh, that's actually a really great start coming in for Schoolcraft. It will take out that offer. And that's gonna weaken the defense from Schoolcraft. Hell yeah, Nick the Nuke. We are. We're getting 75 people tonight. So giving that knife away to Dafu probably. He's gonna rig it. I'm down for that. Rig it for the <laughs> commentator. <laughs> Meanwhile, Raphael able to take out Gauntlet there from heaven on that A bomb site, and Complex able to take out the kill. Starner takes out and takes out Complex, hiding in fence. So, good trades overall coming in from Schoolcraft, and that's going to leave it to a 4 versus 2 in favor of Schoolcraft. And this might be the first round they win in like what, 4 or 5 rounds? This whole half. So five, <laughs> this whole half. half oh, yeah. Rounds. Oh, yeah, they have it, yeah. But here we go. Great kill by Starner. Once again, so Starner definitely stepping it up for Schoolcraft in this round. Already has two kills with that off. And unfortunately, he does know that he's been spotted in quad, but they also know that the last man alive is going to be in a main. It looks and like they're going to save three ops here. Um, there's no way. They're not going to save three ops. Yep. No. I mean, something wasn't working. You know what I mean? That's... They had two ops that round. It's the first one they won. Um, so, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate appreciate the love. Um, so they, they're mixing it up because that's what you do. If you're not winning any rounds, you do something yep. different. Uh, yes. So, three, hey, I mean, three ops set up. Very interesting. And probably the toughest thing against ops is an all-out rush right now to ace. <laughs> like. Yep. Great smokes coming out as well. Starner and Floss holding the site down for their team. So that's going to drop it down to a four versus three. Oh, and that oh, grenade oh, from Dolan able to take out oh, God like that. Kobe, huh? They need. And we see that it's only going to be up to Hope and Justin here. Justin's hiding in quad. Well, Hope is going to be on site itself. Hope spots out a CP member pushing in from site. And that's going to be Dolan with the flank. Just to able to take out one more CT member before Dolan finishes him off in that triple off setup. I mean, I guess it's gonna work. Is he gonna keep it? 
Yeah, so they're gonna keep two of them. Pretty expensive round for them overall. Um, and you'll see that reflected right now. Two players under 4,000. Um, they're not in a position where they can lose a round, not only on the scoreline, but money-wise. Obviously, on the scoreline, that put them in best-case scenario and overtime. But um, <laughs> So, an auto-sniper coming in to face off from the hop from Hope. Oh, I don't know why you would do that, but okay. It looks like he's going to be boosting onto a uh, mid-boost here. But, I mean, he gets spotted oh. out. <laughs> what? He actually gets the frag. Takes out files with it. I'm... Oh, God. So there it is, ladies and gents. That's the auto sniper there. I have solar watching vents. Able to take out the hope who boosted himself out from mid. Meanwhile, God like able to trade the kill there onto Epsilon, and that's not good for Schoolcraft. Not only did they die to an auto sniper, but uh, B site is now pretty much completely open. Do you see that Raphael is holding A site by himself right now? Dolan, he's about to get flanked. Gets a couple shots in, but God likes to get it the oh, better. Oh. There's a 15th round playing for the overtime now. I'm not sure if we're going to see it after yeah. this eco um this could be yeah. this has to be the best eco in their life Can't, rough rough for files i think there was like a frag going off in his face so he couldn't see that auto sniper up there mm -hmm. um it's tough when you're opping you know to die to an auto sniper an offensive auto sniper the thing is they got obviously hit you twice in a defensive situation if you're rushing them it's tough but uh i feel like the op op should win out yeah but here goes D.E. Hope doesn't even care. He's just going to push straight in and take out Epsilon. Meanwhile, we do a couple of the frags going around around the map. Files gets a great flank there. Godlike did not check his corners. Able to pick up an AK for himself and tie it up to be... Oh, 3v2 right now. Exactly. And this could be it. Can Complex... No, no. Complex takes out Raphael. That's going to drop it down to a 2 versus 2. So now it's going to be Laurel and Complex. Oh. Files. Great kill coming in from Dolan. Able to hold down that safe by himself. And he's going to get the corner. The I double kill. The double kill to secure the rat, the eco. So I spoke too soon. They, uh, they're still going to stay in it. Uh, Riverside's going to be rich enough to buy each other. And uh, Schoolcraft now with some guns and utility. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely upgrading from those SMGs. So, yeah, I mean, for Riverside, they still have enough money to buy to force up one more round, but after that, they are going to be broke as well. So, I mean, Schoolcraft, if they are able to take take this round, then they can delay, um, you know, the defeat for for a couple more rounds and go for that tie for the overtime. But we do see that Dolan able to take out Laurel there. Meanwhile, Justin is going to change the frag out. Four files. B side, unfortunately, is completely open. And that is where the T's are going to be headed. Great flashbang. That's going to allow Dolan to get one frag onto Complex. Meanwhile, we see Epsilon pushing in to connect. Unfortunately, Godlike is going to be actually winning that trade as B Hope with the glue in hand. He knows that there is a guy that starts spraying it down. Justin in headshot corner, unable to get the kill onto the guy B main, but is able to take out Heaven. Meanwhile, Starter able to get the kill. On to Godlike and Raphael takes out high on Justin. D Hope, last CT member left alive, fighting against the two versus one. He has to delay the bomb for a couple more seconds. They don't have a kit. Oh, yes, they do. Never mind. Raphael has a kit. So, police are coming for Dafu right now. <laughs> uh, so, wants to. Goodbye, guys. This place. <laughs> <laughs> Rip, but great round by Schoolcraft again. Just hanging in there. Fios has his op. It's gonna be one op setup, but um, no ops coming in from from California team. Yep. But they're gonna go pr pretty hard at mid. We'll see. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so Files unfortunately he missing the op shot onto Hope in mid garage there. That's gonna be. That's not gonna look too well for Schoolcraft. Meanwhile, Starner and Raphael just going straight in there. Now it's gonna be bomb trap. So they have bomb control, but Complex just pushing straight through the smoke. He knows that 
the positioning of where the CTs are. He's going to push straight in, and that's going to leave Absolo and Dolan to the king once again in a three versus two. Oh, season. great headshot onto D Hulter. Meanwhile, over at Shrug, Absolo is going to trick the frag out onto Morel. Complex gets mollied out, but he's going to take the peek on the Dolan. One versus one. Ten oh, he does. <laughs> 19 health. He pulls through. That was a. Uh... How, that was a great molly to deny the plant um, and start to get real close to money starving Riverside. Um, I, I almost wonder if they hadn't mollied, if he would have committed to the plant. That would have been an easy frag because I don't think he knew how close um, Eb Solar was to the planter. But we'll find out. They, they are going to actually opt in to, to save this round nearly. Laurel didn't get the memo. Um <laughs> but we'll see SMG, mostly Tech 9s, and uh, everyone does have armor, so this is... A Tech 9 armor is still winnable. This is not not a throwaway round by any means. Yeah. I mean, those Tech 9s are still a very scary gun. Um, but let's see how they can execute on the site. There is currently two CTs, three CTs watching the site, and there's going to be more brushing in. They get the guy in heaven, but Raphael is hiding uh, within site itself. Absolutely, he gets a great spray down onto the guy in smoke as well. Bomb should be going down? No, it gets delayed actually. Uh, because there's so much fighting going on. He's actually running away from A. And that's to leave Godlike to defend the site by himself as we uh, just chill on this dead body here. While Godlike is yeah, <laughs> triple falls. kill at the end. Files the falls. Complete. The dead body view. Um, <laughs> yeah, you saw my mouse on the screen? That's some bug. That happens like half the games. I can't switch on the. Did you see the? Yeah, yeah, the cursor. Yeah, I can't. I can't switch the whatever. Let's just see the the post. -match. It was a good last round, but uh, files couldn't pull through. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, Defu. Uh, <laughs> too real. Yeah. So let let's see how this went. Um, Starner actually out fragging. Dolan that round. I mean, Dolan's aim is just, every time we were watching from his perspective, it was so on point. Uh, but I think, you know, a lot, a lot of 2K rounds, but Starner was on with the op, and that's mm -hmm. what helped put him ahead, and uh, Complex had a lot of really clutch rounds, you know, two, two stated, but he, had, he did have three 3K rounds, and I think that's some of the ones we saw him really in action. Yeah. And, um, again, overall, UCR um, player wise, skill wise, you know, aim wise, they're they're very even, mild gap between them. But, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say one guy was just whiffing and the other guy was carrying. Um, and Files Files was struggling that game. Nine kills. Uh, just his op was. I mean, T side he was getting out opt when he did have an op. I saw you know a few rounds CT side he just he was struggling with holding mid. We saw one of those last rounds he pushed up through smoke. Yeah. Try to hold mid that way. It works if you're if you hit that first shot, but if they get out mid and you're pushed in front of smoke, or if even two of them come out, it's just not a worthwhile play. Better rotating to to highway mm -hmm. in that situation or you know, taking gamble and going B to help them over at Vents. So T tough on Fios. That was someone before the match we were talking about, you know, that, that he's going to be in a position to really hold his team together um, for that map. And he wasn't unable to do so. Uh, but I can't, I can't really pick apart the team. You know, Inferno, I saw some strategy errors, but in that map, like I expected, their, their mentality, their slow pace, playing for picks, uh, definitely works well on cash. And, uh, Played to their advantage, but just tough. It was mostly fragging and some really smart plays. I think the game, except that the that you know, what was it, sixteen nine point if or fifteen? It felt much closer than a sixteen eleven match. Yeah, uh, in yeah. terms of those rounds, a lot of a lot of rounds with one guy left or um, one or two guys left. So not a lot of just like. 5-0 clutch rounds, except early on in the half, um, we saw California Riverside with a lot of momentum. 
on a yeah. few of those eight takes, but they started getting shut down. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's going to conclude that match. It's going to go 2-0 in the favor of the California team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so next up, we have Waterloo versus Straw Hat. And we'll look into what schools they are from. But uh, before then, yes, that was, that was a best of three. The first map was Inferno, 16-14. Riverside took it. The second map, Cash, as you just saw, 16-11 in the favor of Riverside. So 2-0 for the California University of California Riverside team. And we'll have a second best of three starting after a 10-minute break, and we'll show you um, that, that next matchup, the next best of three, two more college teams, and get into that. Any more thoughts before we go to break, Kevin? Nope, I'm good. Um, just, I mean, in the end, it just ended up Riverside just out fragging um, Schoolboy uh, in the end. And, I mean, they were just pretty much, or Schoolcraft, excuse me, and those desperate, like, pushes through spokes. And it, it just looked, it just looked really ugly in the end. You can tell that their mentality had just fallen apart near the end there. So, uh, but once again, congratulations for Riverside to win that best of three they won it 2-0 on inferno and cash and think after that we'll just take it to break right yep 